All right. Pisces. Let's take a look at the Pisces energy that we have coming up. Oh. Boop. Pisces, you're a fool. Um, no, I don't mean that. So, the fool is the root card. This is pretty powerful shit. The fool shows kind of a new world emerging. You know, it's like a new stage of your life. And the superpower of the fool is the fact that they don't know shit, right? No fear, no expectation. They have no idea what's coming, and that's why they're completely open to everything that happens. So, no fear and no expectation as you step into a completely new chapter of your life. The fucking Seven of Pentacles. So, all right. I started doing this starting at Aries, and this card has shown up either as the root or the center for, for all three of the signs so far. So the Seven of Pentacles, the witch practicing witchcraft. Maybe there's a witchcraft vein in there that I just haven't really been talking about, but the Seven of Pentacles is generally about cultivating your skill by doing the thing that you're trying to learn. Not fucking reading about it. Not, uh, you know, like watching videos about it. But actually doing it. Unless the thing that you're trying to learn is reading or watching videos. Okay. This, this is kind of similar to what we had for Taurus when we look at the reverse king here. So, what leads up to the Seven? Reverse King of Swords. So, the King of Swords, I always say this is like Jean-Luc Picard. This is the, the great leader, the logical leader, who, who doesn't get ruled by their emotions. And because of that, they always make the right decision. They're, they're like the brilliant, logical leader and someone who you would look up to and respect. Like Jean-Luc Picard, this thing upside down is a fucking tyrant. Um, this, this is like Kim Jong-un, right? So we have this, it's more like a tyrannical dictator type energy in the King of Swords. So here's this dictator that, that leads up to the fucking seven of Pentacles cultivating the skill. Now, we do get another seven. So, as this energy moves forward, it turns into the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is purely artistic expression. And here, like, the person is doing a painting of these cups, right? But it comes out as this, like, fish totem thing. So, this is about creatively expressing yourself in a way that you can look at and evaluate, just so you can figure out what is going on beneath the surface here. You know, like, as the person does the painting of the fish totem, like, they sort of understand deeper of what is happening within themselves. So it's artistic expression, so you can understand emotionally what the hell is going on within you. Um... These two together, I mean, that would be like practicing art, you know, or practicing artistic expression, or at least that being one of the ways that this shows up. So let's just look at like the higher purpose and we get the King of Wands reversed. So, <laughs> all right. It looks like there is a new... A new chapter of the life. Now, it wants to move away from the dictator. But what it is moving toward is someone who you would think would be a great leader and an inspirational person, but they're a fucking hypocrite. They, they are a liar. They're the person that would tell you to do something that they would never do themselves. So... 
this whole thing is about, it looks like it's about separating yourself from, from leaders who are shitty, you know, shitty leaders, um, people who are fucking liars and hypocrites and, um, also like dictators, you know? So separating from that, and it looks like the way that that really happens is number one, trying not to superimpose your previous chapter of life onto the new one. And here, really cultivating your skills and expressing yourself artistically. This is the path to get away or at least to like liberate yourself from this fucked up shitty leader energy that shows up here. So that's, that's interesting stuff. Uh, good, good luck with that Pisces.